Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and welcome back to episode number 10 of my Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. That's right, we are 10 episodes in, double digits. And honestly, I can't believe we made it. This randomizer has been pretty tough. Especially in the last episode, we lost an incredible team member in the dumbest situation possible. It was so unfair, but hey, what can you do? That's just how things work in randomizers. We also explored Hammerlock last time, and we ended up on Route 6, where that brings us to the present, where this Rhyperior is trying to run through that poor lady over there and attack me. Alright, I've had enough of this Rhyperior, and it's gone. I guess that's what it's like to be Thanos. No, I just ran back to the Pokemon Center and healed up, but whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and explore Route 6, which has some crazy Pokemon already. We've got Milotic just swimming into the wall there. Can you do that again? Show me your little trick there. How do you do that? Look at that, his head's just go- oh my gosh, what? Okay, alright, let's just keep moving on. I guess that's just normal when you play a randomized game over here. And Ultra Balls, that's fantastic, we really need something like that. Now this is my favorite part of the game, the freeze ladders. You go up, you go down, and everybody just stops moving. <laughs> alright, so let's go over here, I think I'm gonna fight a trainer. We're not gonna skip everybody on this route. I don't wanna fight them, because double battles are like, really bad in randomizers, but you over here, you should be fine. I came from far away to watch the gym challenge. I'd love the opportunity to battle a gym challenger. Well, here you go. Backpacker Diane. What Pokemon do you bring from far away? A Swoobat! Well, you had the nice opportunity to meet my favorite new Pokemon, Cho. And I just did some training. I brought all of my Pokemon up to 33, and here we are again, and they're using Pokemon that are stronger than mine. If Cho wasn't really good on this route because of the whole sun boosting, we might be in some trouble here. I might go back and actually change the EXP back to normal, because it seems like now the trainers are starting to catch up with me. Earlier on in the game, we were way over leveled, so I had to change the XP, but now, now it's like they finally caught up. A Ranguru. Let's see, will Pyro Ball knock that out in one hit too? Or Pyro Ball won't hit at all? And Rock Tomb. I know that's gonna be super effective, but I think we're good. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. We are gonna be a little slower now, which is not fun. I think we should be good bringing out Goyle over here. Hopefully this thing doesn't go for a strong normal type move. I don't wanna see Hyper Beam right now. Go for a, a, go for a Psychic move. Or Rock Tomb again, that should be okay. Right, Goyle? Yeah, Goyle doesn't care. And Goyle is not the fastest Pokemon anyway, so we don't care about that speed drop. Let's go for Night Slash, hopefully get a crit and knock it out. Blizzard? Blizzard, you're going for Blizzard over here? I'm actually not sure, but I know in certain weather conditions, moves like Blizzard have lower accuracy. Maybe the sun lowers it? I really don't know, though. Well, Diane, did you enjoy the battle against the Gym Challenger? I hope so. You did a lot of damage to my Pokémon, though. We're gonna use some potions here. Bring Cho and Goyle back up to full health, and let's keep on going. Charmander's everywhere. And again, I'm, I don't think it's this way, but while we're up here, let's collect this fossilized fish. I know we can revive fossils right over there, but unfortunately we can't really do anything with them because we're playing the Nuzlocke and we already caught Charmander on this route, so unfortunately we can't revive the fossil Pokémon. Now this is the way I'm supposed to go, I'm pretty sure. Do I want to fight you? Mm, no. We have to fight this crazy looking painter over here anyway, I remember this person from my whole Snom challenge. Ooh, that music is strange. Pokémon is art too, if we both give it our all. Why do you look like that? Ooh! That's even worse than I remember it being! Artist Duncan, why do you look so crazy? Seismitoad, well, you're making me feel pretty crazy right now for leading off with Cho. We're gonna need to swap out, and your Pokémon are level 31. The levels are all over the place in this randomizer right now. Alright, Bellatrix, you're up. Let's see what we can do against this Seismitoad. Gust? Huh? <laughs> Okay, well that really doesn't do that much damage, so I'm okay with taking a Gust. Let's go for First Impression. I think this'll do about half to the Seismitoad, or maybe not. And it's gonna go for Gust, and that's gonna swap me out with my Ability Emergency Exit. Okay, well, you did well, Bellatrix, you did well. Alright, Goyle, let's see how you do here. I could go for Hypnosis, but I feel like I'm gonna miss it, so let's just go for Psycho Cut. Maybe we'll get lucky, knock this thing out with a crit. No. Still going for Gust? <laughs> it's a windy little seismitoad over there. 
And a Puku Muku. Oh, I love that thing's name. Puku Muku, Puku Muku, Puku Muku. I can swap in the Moody right now and take this thing out easier, but I think Goyle, we already have Goyle out right now. We're not going to bother swapping around unless that happens to do a lot of damage. Let's see. Meteor Assault? That's Surfetch's signature move, right? Like, that's the Hyper Beam that Surfetch gets, so this turn we should be fine. Ooh, nice. Very good critical hit. Yeah, yeah, that's basically what it was. We were definitely safe there. Wow, that, that's still so freaky. Just look at the trainer in the background. Now, we should be good here unless it gets a critical hit and knocks us out. You're not gonna do that to us, right? Okay, good. Good. I know you were not about to do that to us. You wouldn't be that mean to us. And innards out. Ooh, we're taking a little bit of aftermath damage at the ends there. <laughs> How bad would that have been? If that thing brought us down to lower health and we thought we won the battle, but then its ability knocked us out. Aw, now Artist Duncan looks so sad. I feel bad for beating him like that. That is so weird. He's like chiseling that thing, but not even looking at it. He's looking at me. Ooh, he even turned. All right, we're getting away from here. Oh, I accidentally closed out my game. That's how scared I got. <laughs> I love the scenery right here of the Diglets. No wonder Duncan's over there doing his little chiseling. And here we go. We made it safely to Stoan side. Only lost one Pokemon on Route 6. That poor kid looks like it's getting abducted by the Bronzong over there. <laughs> I smell something. My hop senses are tingling. I know hop is around here somewhere. There he is! Alright, looks like we're gonna have to get into a battle against hop. Now... I feel like Hop, we can take Hop out right now with our current team. We probably don't need to run back and do any more training. I am slightly scared using Myrtle at only level 26, and I might regret this later, but we're gonna jump into this battle against Hop because we like a challenge, don't we? I'm still not too sure what I should do about all that stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm gonna try all kinds of different things against you and see what works. Alright, Hop, you're on. Then let's do this. I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help me get my head on straight. Am I gonna regret this? <laughs> let's find out. Challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. And Hop is leading off with a Gudra. Aww. Gudra is one of my favorite looking Pokemon in this game. I think Gudra looks so good on the Switch. Seeing all that icky, icky goo. Just the details are fantastic. Alright, so let's go for first impression first turn. Let's hope Gudra doesn't have anything good for uh, Bellatrix and Twister. Yeah, we could take a Twister all day. You want to dance, Gudra? I'll show you how to dance. Unfortunately, we can't keep doing that every single turn. Oh, it's faster than me. I didn't really think Gudra was that fast. Oh. Emergency exits. That ability is good, but it's also annoying. Alright, let's bring out our little dragon over here, Neville. Level 31 versus level 31. At least his dragon moves aren't going to be super effective against us. Alright, Breaking Swipe and Dragon Tail both have the same base power. I honestly thought Dragon Tail was a little bit stronger than that. So we'll just go for the Breaking Swipe. I don't think this is going to kill it. Yeah, we just missed out on the KO. Imagine if I went for Sucker Punch first with Bellatrix. That would have definitely done the trick there. Hoping it goes for a physical move, but we've- Oh, wow, okay. All right, go for bite. That's great. I was just about to say, it's not going to go for a physical move, because we just saw Twister and we saw Dragon Breath last few turns. But okay, if you want to go ahead and do that and do nothing to me, be my guest. Be my absolute guest. Nice. Almost everybody leveled up from that except Moody. That's fantastic. And Bellatrix is actually learning a Water-type move. That's actually extremely good. All right, so there's my training right there. We don't need to do any more training. Let's just keep going. Now, Diggersby is the second Pokemon. All right, kind of regretting that. Let's hope this isn't the huge power, Diggersby. Nobody on the team likes Diggersby at all. Bellatrix can deal with Diggersby, but not at that health. We could probably tank a Ground-type move if it wants to do that, but I really would not want to take a strong Normal-type move from there. Now, we can go into Myrtle, sacrifice it, and heal up Bellatrix, but I think it's way too early to start thinking about doing any of that crazy stuff. So we'll bring out Goyle and see how much this does to Goyle. Depending on how much it does to us, we could either Hypnosis or start doing some damage. Okay, Drill Run. That's gonna hurt. Or not. Maybe it's not the huge power, Diggersby. Alright, we should be okay. But, just in case, I do want to put it to sleep. Come on, Goyle. Goyle! That move has a lot better accuracy than that. Come on now. Let's try it again. Let's go for Hypnosis number two. One of them has to hit or we could just keep missing. And now this is getting into dangerous territory. 
Oh, a critical hit. Yeah, I was wondering why it did so much there. Alright, well, I guess this is our first opportunity to use a potion. We'll use one of the two hyper potions that we picked up earlier. Super potions just don't quite cut it at the moment. That's kind of annoying. If we were just able to go for a solid attack... Nice! Nice, thank you! That kind of makes up for it, but if we were able- if we just went for solid attacks, we would have done much better. I thought we would have at least hit one of the two Hypnosises. So, I mean, at this point, I don't want to keep missing with Hypnosis. Let's just go for Psycho Cut and see how much that does to the Diggers B. Nice! Nice, if we get a critical hit next turn, we're good. That does damage again, not too worrying. It's only when it gets the critical hit with the Drill Run, then it becomes a problem. Uh, I would have really loved the critical hit right there. Watch it get another cr critical hit on me. No, we're good, we're just chilling with 60 HP right now, so let's knock this thing out, and that's two of Hop's Pokemon down. One of our guys is at low health, and we've used one potion, so we're okay right now. We're doing okay. Flapple. Hop has all the dragons today. We could try swapping in the Neville again for this one, but I kind of just want to put it to sleep. We also have the super effective Pluck. I don't know. Let's try Hypnosis again. Come on, Goyle, hit this one. Three misses with it, and Solar Beam. It's not sunny here, is it? Good. <laughs> we could do something crazy here and try going for the Hypnosis and see if that works, but no, I'm not risking that. We'll swap it to Neville. Neville resists Solar Beam all day. We don't want to lose anybody if we can avoid it. And now, let's see. How much is that Solar Beam going to do to me? It's probably going to be strong, but I don't think it's going to do a crazy amount. We're at 78 now. Brought me down to 59. Wow. All right, let's go for the break and swipe here. Will that do enough to break this Flapple? Not quite. Not quite yet. Hopefully it goes for Solar Beam again. Mega Punch. That's going to do nothing. <laughs> Why? Also, what are you punching me with? Your little apple arms? Your head? I'm not really sure. Neville is really useful in this fight. Jellicent. Level 36 Jellicent. Wow, that's a tough jellyfish. All right, I'm not quite ready for the Jellicent just yet. I want a Dragon Tail and swap this thing out. Oh, that's great. Yeah, go for Cotton Guard. That's perfect. You're going to raise your stats, and I'm going to swap you out right away. Or we can miss! Oh my gosh, me with the missing. Look at that. That's a 90 accuracy move. We missed three Hypnosises in this battle. What's going on here? All right, it's going to go for Cotton Guard again. Every time it does that, it's better and better for me to go for the Dragon Tail. But watch me miss again. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> uh, Salty Tips Mike was coming out. And what are we bringing in? We're bringing in a Sil Valley. Not exactly much better for me. I'm going to go for Breaking Swipe here just to lower this thing's attack. Man, I'm so glad that we're going kind of fast here. That Breaking Swipe really helps if I want to swap around. And it's going to go for Shell Smash. That can get scary. That can get very, very scary very de fast, depending on what this thing wants to do next. It's going to raise its attack, special attack, and speed all sharply. I don't know, I'm also not a fan of that either, so we're going to go for Dragon Tail again. Night Days. Is that the glitchy move again? That just like... Oh, wow! Neville! No! That Night Days did so much damage! Oh, rest in peace, Neville. That's not even right. We didn't even get to see your health drop at all. That's just plain awful, buddy. I feel so bad. Neville was doing so well in this fight. Thank you for everything that you did, buddy. Ah, <sighs> Cho, it's your turn. We're gonna come out here. We're gonna go for that Pyro Ball. You better not miss. It's gonna do Night Days again. Is this just gonna one-shot me and not even tell me? All right, we're living. We're living. But my accuracy is falling. Oh, no. Okay, good. We're able to hit. We're able to hit. That's what matters right now. And we got rid of the Sil Valley. Okay, good. <sighs> wow. Wow, that was an awful death. Rest in peace, Neville. I know the Jellison is coming out again. Alright. Well, now we can't really play around with this thing. I think we're just gonna jump right into Moody here. This is absolutely our best bet. So come on out, Moody. Let's hope this Jellison doesn't go for anything crazy right now. Oh, uh, Neville. I really wanted to bring Neville into the gym with me. We're definitely going to need to do training. Wow. Oh, that's scary. That's really, really scary now. Because let's say this thing manages to burn me. That'll do just enough damage where it'll kill me if I get burned. I'm not liking this matchup right now. All right, Cotton Guard, thank you. That's kind of what we want to see right now. I don't want it to attack me. Raising its defense is going to be annoying because it becomes harder and harder to kill every single turn. And that's a super effective move right there. 
I'm actually really, really worried about this thing. Uh, it's fast. I'm gonna go for Nuzzle to try to slow it down a little bit. Oh, there's the Scald again. Please don't burn me is all I'm asking for. Don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me, don't burn me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow, we are in a pickle right now. I feel like both Goyle and Bellatrix can handle this Pokemon. The only problem is right now, it's kind of annoying to take out because it's so bulky. And it does a lot of damage. Bellatrix resists the Scald. So we're gonna bring you in. And I knew it wasn't gonna get fully paralyzed this turn. How much is Scald gonna do to Bellatrix? Good. And we did not get burned. So I'll take this opportunity right now to use a Super Potion on Bellatrix. Again, just the only annoying thing is once we get that burn, we're gonna do nothing to this Pokemon at all. So we're just biding our time right now. It's gonna keep scalding us and we're eventually gonna get burned. Ooh, the critical hits. Is the burn coming here? No. Good. All right, well, we have some HP here. Let's try going for Sucker Punch. The good old Sucker punch rooney which does a lot. Okay. Oh, critical hit. That's why. I was not expecting it to do that much damage. And Hop's kind of mad about that critical hit. Ooh, and fully paralyzed. That's how we get out of a tight situation there. Let's go for Sucker Punch one more time. Nice. Nice. Oh, wow. Wow, that thing's living. That thing is living. Do you see how much damage that did? Nothing. An emergency exit's activating again. Okay. All right. I wasn't sure if it was once per battle or more than once. But that's all right. We did enough damage, so now we should be able to bring out Goyle and finish this thing off with a nice little Night Slash. All right, let's do it. Take him out, Goyle. Good job. Got rid of that annoying jellyfish. And now, Pop's last Pokemon. Just don't be strong. Don't be strong. We can't afford it right now. Our team is not looking too good. I don't know what I can try to do to win now, but all I can do is try. And he's gonna try with the Venusaur. Venusaur is a scary Pokemon. I know Venusaur is very strong, and even though we have those super effective moves like Psycho Cut right now, I'm kind of worried about this thing. Let's just try going for Psycho Cut, because I'm gonna assume that it's gonna miss with Hypnosis. Petal Blizzard, which does a decent amount of damage right now, and Psycho Cut does a lot. Good, 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 good. All right, if I remember correctly, we have one more potion we could use right now, so I'm gonna use my last Hyper Potion on Goyle right here. Bring him back up to full health. Wow, this battle really, really pushed me to the limits. Yeah, it does like 50 damage. That's insane. And let's go for one more Psycho Cut and knock it out. Electrify. Okay. I'm confused. Is that going to make it so it doesn't kill now? Oh, wow, it does. I'm pretty sure it's only for the turn, so let's just go for Psycho Cut. Oh, don't tell me you're going to hit with Sleep Powder. Are you serious? So this thing can hit with its sleep move, but I can't hit when I try going for three different hypnosises. Alright, Venusaur, if that's how you're gonna be. Let's see, and it's going for Petal Blizzard again, which is bringing me down to 7 HP, but Goyle is waking up and we're going for the Psycho Cut, and we're gonna take out the Venusaur. Ooh, that was a nightmare scenario right there. If Goyle didn't wake up this turn... We might have been in some trouble. We could have probably brought out Show and finished the thing right there, but oh, oh, that was scary. That was really, really scary. Wow, that was a crazy battle against Hop. I felt like our levels were okay for that battle. You know, we didn't really need to do any extra training. Oh, hello there. Were you there the whole time? That child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Is he, though? Well, Neville, thank you very much for helping me out during that battle. You really, really, really did a lot of work in that battle, and I'm gonna miss you dearly. So, I think it's time to bring Norbert back out of the box, and we're absolutely gonna do a little bit of training before we take on the next gym. Alright, my friends, we are back. I did a lot of training because I believe we are about to jump right in to our fourth gym, and I don't want to lose any more Pokemon. Losing Neville was just plain awful right there, so if we're going into a gym, I don't want to take any chances. So let's jump right in to our fourth gym. Now, I usually play Sword version, so this one's going to be kind of fun for me, seeing Alistair. Now, one more thing I did was I went to the train station 
station actually got some lemonades because they heal slightly more health. 70 HP instead of 60 HP compared to super potions. Since I used both of my hyper potions in that battle with Hop, which I was planning on saving for here, I wanted to make sure that we have access to the best possible potions that we can get right now. Now this gym, I love this gym so, so, so much. This is so much fun. We just jump into this little thing, we start spinning, 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 and then we bounce around like we're a pinball. This gym is just so creative and so much fun. It's crazy to me how far Pokemon has come with their gym. Spin the teacups too much and gym challengers go flying. All right, so gym trainer Clive is sending out a Gardevoir. What is this? That's not Gardevoir. The Golden Gardevoir. Now, I'm not exactly sure. I remember when I put this mod in the game, they said it was from Pokemon Insurgents. I never played that, so maybe you guys will recognize this thing a little bit better than I do. But the Golden Gardevoir is here. Well, we're not staying in with Norbert to find out what this thing can do to us. If it's gonna go for a Fairy-type move, I don't want to take it. Oh, this is kind of dumb, actually. If it goes for a Psychic move, we're gonna take that just as hard. I gotta think a little bit more before I make these plays. Alright, well, let's try going for Venoshock. We're in here. I don't no, Earthquake? Huh? No, that's Quad Super! Oh my gosh, we're living at five! We're living at five! I thought we made a mistake because we swapped in here and it was gonna go for a Psychic move on us. Little did I know, this thing has Earthquake! Oh my gosh, alright, well, we're out, we're done. This is a mess no matter what way I look at it. I think Bellatrix is the best option right here. Myrtle is also alright in this situation too. Man, this little Delta Gardevoir, Galarian Gardevoir, whatever it is, is giving me some trouble right now. Bellatrix should be able to take the Earthquake though. Very nice. It's always annoying when we get into battles with these Pokemon, they kind of force me to use one specific thing to counter it. Aw, oh, I thought we'd do enough damage to knock it out there, but that's okay. It wants to go for Earthquake. Sometimes I don't understand why these Pokemon do what they do. Oh, baby doll eyes, you're gonna stop attacking me there? I guess I'll go for the bug bite here to guarantee to get a hit on it. Yeah, it's going for baby doll eyes again. Stop looking at me with those eyes, my attack keeps falling. Let's hope we can do enough damage here to knock it out. How mad do you think I would have gotten if that thing survived with just one HP? It's given a lot of XP though, that's good. Now, Pelipper is Pokemon number two. Ugh, I would love to bring in Moody right now, but Moody is almost dead. Oh, wait a second, that's right, we have Norbert back again. Norbert's also an electric type. Although Norbert doesn't get any better electrical moves right now than Thundershock. Pound. Pound. Ah, that's a better move, Aqua Tail. Not gonna do much to Norbert, but that's better than Pound. All right, Norbert, shock that thing out of the sky. And last but not least, we have a Sock. Breaking the mold, breaking the mold. Now, I also gave Norbert the, uh, the beak, the octolock, huh? <laughs> Where are the tentacles coming from? Uh, this thing doesn't look it as tentacles to me. <laughs> okay, like I was saying before, did that ridiculousness, huh? My defense fell, my special defense fell. Is that part of the octolock? Because I know mold breaker doesn't do that. Well, let's hope it doesn't go for close combat right now. Okay, yeah, go for another Octolock, that's fine. Like I was saying, I gave it the beak that increases the power of flying-type moves, since I generally use Aerial Ace with this thing a lot, so I figured it might be helpful. Turns out it is a little helpful. I lost. My consciousness has been sent flying. That's alright, buddy, me too. Spinny, 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 spinny. Alright, that's spinning part two down. Let's see. We can't get past these trainers. Nope, they have crazy good eyesight. Back and forth, back and forth, you're spinning. Back and forth, back and forth, me too. I feel like that could be a nice song. I just don't have the voice to sing it. Back and forth, back and forth, you're spinning. Back and forth, back and forth, me too. With the shiny Pangoro. Ah, again, see? Aerial Ace is so good on this guy. Come on, Norbert. Let's get a nice crit and one-shot this thing. Or not, that's okay. It was kind of silly to depend on a crit anyway. Toxic Spikes. Well, those hands are red, which makes this thing look kind of poisonous, so I can definitely understand why I can use Toxic Spikes. Oh, and the little hat Pokemon, Hatterene. Now, this would be a really good Pokemon to name after a Harry Potter character, because it just straight up looks like a wizard. Now, I'm gonna swap because I'm a little afraid of it going for a Fairy-type move. Not gonna like getting poisoned by those Toxic Spikes, though. But Cho, you can handle it, right, Cho? Wow, Cho is almost the same color as this thing. Trick Room. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You're gonna be faster than me because Cho is extremely fast. And that poison is doing a lot of damage, but I think we should be good. So it's gonna go for spiky shields. All right, that's kind of annoying, especially combined with the poison. But we don't- we're not gonna take damage from the spiky shield. Yeah, because we're just throwing a ball at it. Or we were attempting to anyway. Well, let's try doing it again. Max Phantasm. All right, that's gonna do all of one damage. That's good. That's good. Again, I wish I could get them to not- oh, that was a critical hit. I wish I could get them to not know those max moves, but unfortunately with the limitations of the randomizer right now, it's a thing that can happen. Ugh, I'm not liking how low Cho's health is getting, but if the battle keeps going the way it's going, we're good. But I absolutely need to save some of that, uh, PP. We only get five uses of Pyro Ball, and it would be kind of goofy to use them all up right there. Alright, you know what? We're gonna do the silly play. This might be a bad idea, but we're gonna swap in the Moody, because I really want to conserve those Pyro Balls. And the poison and the spiky shield, it's getting annoying. Yeah, see, there it is. It's going for spiky shield again. All we need to do is hit him with a nice solid move. I think Venoshock would just do neutral damage, so we're just gonna go for discharge. Now, don't- okay, that's fine. That's fine. Do that. Throw the chairs at me. I can take it. And discharge. Just do enough damage to knock it out here. Good. Good. And this one's my favorite part. We just go flying, flying, flying. Oop, I hit the wall. But we just go flying for such a long time. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! Alright, uh, one more trainer. Gym Trainer Roy! With a Glalie. This has always been a weird Pokémon to me. I remember in the Hoenn League, Ash actually got one of these things. I was kind of upset when it evolved, because I think Snowrunt is a much cuter Pokémon, and then seeing it evolve into, well, that? I don't know. But it's slowly growing on me, and now I don't like it anymore. Why would you go for Detect? I hate you. That was some pro strats right there, though. Lock on, and then detect the next turn. Alright, let's bug bite this thing and get it out of here. Send out your next Pokémon already, I want to go fight the gym leader. Eldegoss! Is that one shiny? No. Just the weird lighting in here. And for once, bug bite is actually super effective against something. Grass Knot, that's not gonna do a lot to me. Uh, it does a little bit more than I thought it would. But for once, Bug Bite is actually super effective against anything. It feels like bug moves aren't really good against anything in Pokémon. Cotton down. My speed fell. Well, that's okay. If you want to attack me, I'll go for Sucker Punch and we should go first. There we go. Nice play. Go drift away, Eldegoss. Alright, let's completely heal everybody and let's jump right into that gym battle. There we go, made it through the gym challenge, my favorite one in all of Sword and Shield. And now, let's go fight against the Masked Man himself. I kind of feel tempted when I voice this guy to do a Bane voice because of the mask, but when I look at his legs, well, he obviously does not lift. So I feel like it wouldn't be fitting to go, Malister, <laughs> here I go! Oh, is that all he says? Usually the people are a lot more wordy before you get into battles with them, but he just wants to jump right into it. Alright, well, I guess he's stuck with the Bane voice, and we're gonna get right into our fourth gym battle with Alistair, leading off with a Noctowl. Why? Usually Bellatrix is a really safe choice for the beginning of the matches, but I'm not gonna stay in with Bellatrix at all. 37. Wow, look at that level jump already. Your gym trainers were a lot weaker than you. Well, let's go into Moody. I think Moody with the Discharge should do great here. Let's just hope that Noctowl doesn't do too much to me. I know Noctowl's not the strongest Pokémon. Oh, it's giving me a kiss! I don't want your kiss, take that back! Ugh, owl kisses. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, Moody, shake off that kiss. Bounce! <laughs> this is gonna be the most annoying Noctowl I've ever fought. Come on, shake off that kiss. Nice. We attempted to go for the discharge, and that counts for something. Let's try this again. He's gonna go for bounce. Bounce, I'm sure, won't do that much damage to me. Or it does a decent amount. Now, just don't hurt yourself, Moody. Come on. Come on, nice. Now, if you also get a paralysis this turn, I will love you forever. Super effective, and we got the Paralysis! Great! That's awesome. I was considering going for Nuzzle once I saw that it has Bounce, just so I could slow it down a little bit. And we're snapping out of the confusion. This is working out so well for me. Moody did not like that kiss at all. Perfect. Battle's going well so far. Inteleon! Ooh, this is the green Inteleon! Freaky looking! Alright, Moody's sitting at 74 HP, which is kind of scary against the new Inteleon. So I think even though we have moves that are good against it, I'm gonna bring out Norbert here just because if it wants to go for a water move, we'll resist it. So what are you gonna do, Inteleon? In Hydro Cannon. Yep, I feel like that would have 150% knocked out Moody right there. 
we just narrowly dodged death. Now, I'm going to take this turn. I know it's not going to do anything. I'm going to take this turn to charge, raise my special defense, and also do more damage next turn with the Thundershock. If you want to do that again, if you want to go for Hydro Cannon again, please be my guest. What item is it using? Oh, the Quick Claw? Well, you're faster than me anyway, so that's all good. Oh, wow, they missed the Hydro Cannon. You're getting the luck that I had earlier on in this episode, buddy. That's rough. All right, let's go for one more Thundershock. That should take it out. And it's just going for it. It's just going for it. It really wants to drop my health low. Yeah, Norbert doesn't care about that that much now after the charge. But still, that's a lot of damage to take. All right, Green Inteleon down. Getting some good levels off of that too. 37, 37, and 38. Now Pokemon number three on Fezant. Well, since we're sitting at low health, I'm going to heal up Norbert once, and I want to see what this thing is going to attempt to do to me. Thundershock is alright against this thing. Again, wish I had a stronger electric move at this point, but it's what can you do. Oh, Dragon Claw. Oh, no! Dragon Claw! <laughs> That's not good. I'm like, wait a second, Dragon Claw? Forgot Norbert was a dragon for a second. Alright, Norbert, get out of here. Not good, not good. Mayday. And let's bring out Moody once again. Alright, so go for Dragon Claw again. How much is that going to do to me? I'm debating, too, if I want to Dynamax... Come on. I don't want to lose Moody. I really like Moody. We're going to Lemonade. We're going to heal. Don't get a crit. Do something silly this turn. And next turn, we're Dynamaxing, because this thing... Yes, that's what I want. That's what I want. Do the silly stuff. And now we are 150% Dynamaxing. When Pokemon start to get me annoyed, we 150% go for that Dynamax. So let's say hello to Dynamax Moody. Let's see, does it keep that cool black skin? Yes, it does. And that looks sick, Dynamax. That looks so good. Let's go, Moody. Let's go. Get that HP boost. And now let's show them what a real powerful move is like. Oh, Defog. Why do these guys always do that to me? Once I Dynamax... Once I go for my really powerful stuff, that's when they start deciding to goof around. Don't make me feel like I wasted my Dynamax, but hey, if we could get a few more kills with Moody, then it's all good. Kamoo! That's an interesting one to see. Well, that's definitely another threatening Pokemon to me, so I think it's good that we're already Dynamax against this. It's going for Fire Lash, which does a lot. It really does a lot. Let's go for Max Ooze. That'll raise our special attack, but it doesn't do enough. I'm thinking after a special attack boost, we might be able to knock this out, though. I'm just slightly worried now about it being able to knock me out, because it did a lot of damage to us, even though we're Dynamaxed. However, I think we'll survive. I think we'll survive. And yeah, it's going to go for Toxic Spikes, so we'll definitely survive. However, once again, those Toxic Spikes are going to get annoying fast, because you know in these gym battles, we're always switching around. Alright, bye-bye Kamoo, that special attack boost definitely made it so we did enough damage now to knock this thing out. Very good. Very, very good. Nice job, Moody, you deserve all that XP and you're leveling up the rest of the team too. Very, very good. Pinurchin. Well, now we're back to Tiny Moody, and we're sitting in that scary situation spot again where I'm not really scared of the Pinurchin, although it might surprise me and turn things around. But I'm scared of the next Pokemon, because that's where they're going to use their Dynamax or Gigantamax. I think they're guaranteed to have a Gigantamax Pokemon. So, most of them are pretty strong, so it's kind of scary. Fusion Bolt! Fusion Bolt! Coming from this thing? Well, because of the terrain, yeah, that does a lot of damage! That's a lot of damage! Well, I think we're in a pickle here. Can't really swap out into anybody, because you know that's going to do a lot of damage to anybody else. Norbert would usually be my option to swap out into, but Norbert's at 32 health. We are also out of potion usages. I believe I used all three of my items. So we're going to have to go for Venoshock. We're going to have to hope for the best. We are at plus two. If we get a crit right here or something, we can turn this around. So come on, Moody. This is it. This might be your final moment right here. Oh, just living. Thank you, Moody. You did your best. Thank you, buddy. Well, this is it. Just lost Moody. So now, I guess it's time to swap into somebody else and finish this Pokemon off. I'm gonna swap into Bellatrix here. Oh, that's right, the poison. That's gonna get very annoying very fast. 
Well, I'm assuming first impression should do enough damage to knock this thing out. It's at very low health right now. There we go. There we go. But I'm very scared of this last Pokemon. We used up our Dynamax. We used up all of our items. And now they're going to send out their most powerful Pokemon. Their very last Pokemon. How lonely, how frightening. It's a Machamp. It's a uh, Reggie Gigas? What is this thing? That looks horrifying. It sends Machamp, but it looks like a Reggie Gigas. Well, that's scary. Not only do I not know what I'm fighting against, we're also about to see whatever that thing is, Gigantamax. I'm not liking that one bit. All right. Well, we might lose a lot of Pokemon here. I'm not swapping out. We're going to go for Razor Shell and see what this thing wants to do. Gengar Gigantamax. That's not quite a Gengar. Now, what is this thing going to look like when it Gigantamaxes? I'm very, very confused. All right. It looks like it's just going to be a regular Machamp to me. Regular Gigantamax Machamp. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we survive three turns in the ring against this thing? Max Mindstorm. That's going to do enough to swap us out, isn't it? Oh, wow. Really? Really? It's not doing enough to swap us out. Okay, I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. The battlefield got weird. <laughs> it got weird the moment this thing didn't do enough damage to knock me out in one shot, let me tell you. Now, is the emergency exit going to make us swap out here? Yes, it is. That's fantastic. This is what I want, actually. We have not used Myrtle at all yet, and I feel like this might be Myrtle's chance to shine. Let's bring Myrtle out here. We have those super effective fairy moves, and if it wants to go for any fighting moves, that's all right, too. Let's try attracting this thing. Max Mindstorm again. How much is that going to do to me? How much is that going to do to me? All right, 33 damage. We can take maybe one more of those with that poisoning, but we're going to attract this thing. We're going to make it fall in love with us, and hopefully, 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 it doesn't attack us. There's really no point in using aromatherapy right now, because we're either going to have to swap out, or we're not. So let's go. Uh, no, the love isn't working. I thought that might work, but no. Oh, we're eating a berry. What berry do we have? Is it the orange berry? Yeah, it's the orange berry. Okay, I should probably go get some citrus berries at some point. And Mindstorm does a lot. Actually, I'm kind of regretting not going for... I'm kind of regretting not doing that last turn and going for the Attract instead. I feel like we have the battle here. It's just, who can I bring in that can take a hit and not die? Goyle and Cho are both at full health, so we'll try Goyle first. Myrtle, you did well. You did well. I probably could have used it a little bit better, but I thought Attract, we might get lucky and make it stall out a turn, but that's okay. Now, let's see. What are you doing? You were going for Max Mindstorm, so I'm assuming you were going for a Psychic move, Dynamic Punch, and it's got a hit, of course. Of course it's got a hit with the Dynamic Punch. 50 accuracy. We're gonna bring in Cho. We're gonna bring in Cho. We gotta hope that it goes for either that Psychic move, or it misses the Dynamic Punch. And now everybody's poisoned as well. My whole team is poisoned. This could actually be really bad for us. Struggle Bug. Okay, that's really good for us. That's really, really good for us. Drop my special attack. I do not care. And now it's all down to this. Can we land this Pyro Ball, and is it going to do enough damage to knock out the Machamp? Or Regigigas? I'm still not really sure what it is. Let's find out. There we go. There we go. Wow. Wow, that was messy. That was messy. That was not good. But we got our fourth gym badge. Showed some signs of weakness there, and unfortunately, we did lose Moody. But overall, I think we had a good battle. Crumbs, that was Ace. Here, a ghost badge. There we go. Fourth gym badge. Ugh, I'm sad about losing Moody, though. Lately, these last few episodes, we really have been losing Pokemon that I've really, really enjoyed using. But you know what that means. Next time, since we have four badges now, we could go back to the wild area and catch plenty of new Pokemon. So it is a little sad that we lost Moody here, but guess what? Next episode, we'll be able to catch some amazing new Pokemon, and we'll see what we get. So four badges down, ten episodes in, we're halfway there, guys. Thanks so much for watching, my friends. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and my friends, I'll see you in the next one.